okay so as we now have uh, are on the almost fifth tutorial uh, now we have to learn that how to separate our intent code from our index.js file if you keep continue writing the code in index.js file that um, uh, you know that you can have a almost like uh, 120 in, uh, hundred thousand intents in an uh, in an action so uh, you need to separate the logic from the index.js and if you don't do it you have like um, code of uh, thousand lines or something more than that um, so today we are going to learn how to separate our uh, basic intent uh, in our uh, in in the next in a second file okay so let's do it so uh, always remember to write uh, code in the function directory i am in the f i am in function directory you can see mm, in the vs code it's very easy uh, you just go to this and click on any file or if you are in function you can also write in that function code to like just i am thinking to do this intent as in a separate code we are going to separate this intent in a different file okay so let's write this just give this name tom.js obviously you are writing a javascript file we are going to give extension .js okay so now you have to uh, implement the basic thing that is required in this uh, like uh, we are using basic card and for basic card we have like image and buttons so we have to implement you have to bring these things in the tom.js okay const basic let's just require actions on basic card image and button okay now um, this module dot exp Bolt will do all the magic. Okay, so module dot exports mean that we are going to write some function in it, and that function we can import in our index dot js direct js file. So oh, let's write our function. Mm, just we are going to give this. Mm. Just anything. Let's uh, can just keep it. Let's just keep it simple. I'm going to pass the argument conv. You have to pass those arguments that you are going to use in the index.js file. Like if if I am going to use that tom dot friends, then we are going to give the tom dot friends. Like you can see whatever you have here, you can you have to give this input in the tom dot js. Okay. So but in our code we have like but only con. So we are going to give only conv and just pick okay we are going to use this one why why you are doing this sorry i'm not using mouse right now that's why i'm facing this problem sorry for the louder music like there is always something happening in my we have to delete this because we saw this we are not working 
are we good yeah we are good okay so save this save this file also so as you can see like we we, are re we will require this tom.js file like we have did for the actions on google so our firebase functions we wrote functions that that's how we are going to import our tom.js constant let's just give it t require simple and t dot the functions where t dot tom and the argument was conf see our whole logic of this uh, about tom intent is shifted in this file that's how you just you can separate your intent okay so I'm going to save this now and let's just deploy I'm going to pause going to pause this video after that we are going to uh, resume this after deploying we are going to resume this and we'll see how it works okay so when I was trying to uh, do this uh, to deploy and test on my simulator uh, I saw like I'm getting this error that empty is speech response I didn't know what to do so I then again checked my code so I forgot to put this suggestions class in suggestions class in my um, actions on to I just forgot to import this uh, for suggestions functions to from my actions on Google repo so so basically is it thing is like you have to always import those classes to uh, your um, import those classes in your code that that's how you can use it again so, uh, otherwise you will face the error like me and you have to debug the error and uh, right now it's not really very comprehensible on a simulator to find what is the main error that you are getting so they are trying to improve it Mm, but um, oh, if you are writing code with me just put this suggestions uh, in the in this file okay so let's just save this and try to deploy it again and we'll test it out I'm also going to host this code on my github repo link will be in the description of the this video okay So our code is deployed. Let's test this out. Sure. Here's the test version of Tom myself. Yeah. Hey, I am Tom. Yeah. Welcome to my actions on Google. Yeah. What do you WAMT to know more? We are going to invoke this intent. Um, so let's try it out. Hey, this the info about Tom. Let's see, you are getting this info. That's how we wanted it to work. That's how we always. In this Tom.js file, we have all the code about index.js. We just called it from the index.js file. As always remember, you have to use this index.js file uh, because they access all those directory from this file like this is like your main program in C or C++ main function <coughs> so for now we are going to in this video uh, I'm going to uh, upload this code on my github repo link will be in the description you check it out if you find this interesting please share it on Twitter or somewhere where people are act interested in using actions on Google and building in it building it and learn how to build it thank you bye